up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Finds of Cameron Indoor Stadium. Number two Duke is back at home after a win at Pittsburgh to host Georgia Tech in a single game in the AC. Who's beaten Georgia Tech 35 of the last 38 times. Has the ball first. We'll talk about this. The game goes on. A lot of zone for Georgia Tech. And uh, number one gets it right away. and gets uh, Surface for the first time for Georgia Tech. Here is Defoe fighting through a little bit of chaos. And it got blocked by Williamson. Now, now, you know, if you attack the inside, you get Gay in there. If you get him in foul trouble, then Josh Pastor has real issues. Did Katie bar the door? Might be right now. There you and go. scores. Missed with the jump you, hook. And you can, when we ask Josh, you know, Georgia Tech is giving up offensive re they, they They're not even sending anybody at the glass right now. They're so concerned with getting back. Oh, Williamson to catch. Why are you shooting threes? I mean, that's for them. First half, four on Duke. Shabari Phillips threw it away to Williamson. Got Jones with him behind the back. Went for the dunk and draws the foul. See now. Behind the back package <laughs> that I've got. I brought with me from Spartanburg. Free throw good. Time out, Mike. As you mentioned, the transition opportunity. Second free throw good. Not a great perimeter shooter. Blue Devils being pretty patient here against the Georgia Tech zone, so to speak. I mean, what are you going to do? You know, well, actually, what you got to do. Pass here. Look, look, hands down right there. No, no, it's easy sight line on that play. Look at, look, you're looking to point up. Yeah, just throw it up there. Throw it at the top of the box. Duke will have the balls. We rejoin you from Cameron and Georgia Tech. And there's Williamson to break the drought for the Blue Devils, not only from the floor, but scoring in the spin on that side, Wes. Alvarado will pull up three. I don't know why he just didn't lay a foul off the backboard. That was an easy layup. Still a two-point game. It's a good timeout, though, by Josh Pastner. He saw an explosion coming. And Williamson going to get the dunk and the one. Oh. Including the three. Here's Haywood going all the way through. Duke trying to keep Well, we talked about them being number one in the country in blocking shots, and Zion Williamson, a big reason why. And look at this finish, just always around the rim. And uh, I don't know, it's like it way back, Tommy Heinsohn. <laughs> <laughs> Williamson fighting inside. Yeah, you see, I mean, Banks just put his hands up and he kept retreating. Eight minutes to go. I have a Williamson out there uh, being able to guard point guards. But Alvarado he... had it swatted off the glass. And Alvarado thought he had. Right, this. this is a basket right here in his mind. Yeah. <laughs> not, not in Zion Williamson's mind. Man, what an athlete. Oh. Williamson in strong scores. And O'Connell. Haven't seen a lot of Bolden here in the second half. Or Jack White here. Timeout, Josh Pastor. Seemingly no Blue Devil game complete without a lob for number one. Weston, it's been that same thing. I mean, a great pass over the top by uh, Reddish. Nobody on the back line. I mean, you know, he's just pointing. He's been, he's been doing that the whole afternoon. And uh, Josh Pastor, a good timeout for him. For the 12th straight time, the 16 of the last 17, 20 of the last, 21 of the last 23, and 36 of the last 30.